Welcome to another episode of Data Center Pulse. I'm here in Scottsdale, Arizona at the Data Center Pulse collaboration session, the day before eBay opens up their Project Mercury data center. We've got 50 of my industry peers from all different ranging companies all over the world, including from Taiwan and Czech Republic, coming together to share information, to collaborate, and actually learn from each other. We also have Dell and HP that are presenting their solutions that they put into the data center for eBay. So stay tuned and listen to a couple folks' input on exactly what they thought of the session. So today's session, we started with a uh, two-hour uh, deep dive with Data Center Pulse members. So we had 50 people from all over the world come in, Taiwan and Czech Republic, and other folks, of course, around uh, the United States. Uh, these are my industry peers inside of Data Center Pulse. These are people that make decisions in data centers. And we sat down with my project team, including our extended team of AHA consulting engineers, Winter Street Architects, and uh, EDI, who were the ones that designed the data center, and DPR, which actually constructed the data center and uh, applied all of our lessons learned. So basically shared the information. And um, after that, we then had a breakout sessions with both Dell and HP. So they uh, gave their perspective into what um, solutions they put into play for all of the projects for eBay, as well as their lessons learned in it. And then they, applied, they basically answered all the questions that uh, the different Data Center Pulse members um, uh, brought to them. We were able to present at the breakout session here at Data Center Pulse as a vendor, and the interest we got from customers who, you know, eBay can do things at scale, but this event really helps people of all dynamics and all tier levels start to look at solutions. So it's really a great place at the industry to help the small guys who aren't the eBay, Google, Facebooks actually get together and figure out how to go build their next generation data center. I think it gives more in-depth information. It's funny is when I talk to two vendors, I get to know server better because they give me different answers. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was a very good session. It was very interactive. Um, a lot of different questions from the audience, which was great, as well as several of us had seen the data center earlier, which was helpful in terms of asking a lot of the different questions that we came up with. And it was very informative, too, about what eBay was working on both now and, and what you're heading towards. I mean, it was a really great opportunity, um, not so much to present, but so much to, to listen. Um, and really um, not just listen to the questions and answer them, but to understand the dynamic of the audience um, and really get an appreciation for where these questions are coming from. And you know, with the experience that we're getting with you and with others, um, we're able to uh, really understand the questions, uh, what's driving them and what's motivating them. So we're not just giving a straight up answer, um, but we're backing up that answer with, with real data. And I think it's just, it, it, it forces a good uh, conversation versus a Q&A. Mm -hmm. So I would say that was the highlight of, of, of my afternoon. That was very useful, you know, I like what the entire project Mercury because I think it's kind of unprecedented in the industry, opening the RFP to public. That was just great to have all the people who has contributed or who, that are very active in the industry um, in one room just seeing the project, how did it go, what were the challenges, sharing that and also getting some feedback from them. So. I really enjoyed the session. Uh, we thought it was great. Uh, I felt that uh, it gave us a great opportunity to explain to a bunch of customers the collaborative nature of uh, you know, the Mercury project that we had with, with eBay. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of good questions around the implementations and the value proposition of doing uh, modular data centers and uh, you know, how customers can take advantage of them or not take advantage of them. 
Uh, it provided a, a venue to you know get a, just a lot of best practices and hear other people's concerns, mm -hmm. and it also gave us an opportunity to articulate kind of where the whole uh, value proposition is in its evolution, right? Uh, is you probably heard me. I, one of the things I, I realized is it, that I was explaining to people is I don't think it's it's I don't think we've gotten to the full value proposition. I think it's evolving. Mm -hmm. I think projects like these that we've done together are radically important to test to test out some of these uh, proof points, yeah. and uh, it'll continue to evolve over years to come. We love coming to events like this because you know there's things like the ASHRAE and Green Grid and. 7 by 24, but here's one where folks are really getting together and literally the pulse of the data center. Now you think about what they're trying to do that's today, that's not risky, but also new and different. So as a supplier coming here, and as someone who actually builds and operates data centers, it's really great to get together this community that's been created in just a couple of years. I think today uh, was probably one of the most collaborative and uh, interesting sessions that I've seen in Data Center Pulse so far in its three year history. We had the right people in the room and we were very open and uh, now we've taken a lot of the, the thoughts and ideas and, uh, and lessons learned in the past and applied them in these very innovative and aggressive projects uh, that actually encompass inside of, uh, of Project Mercury. And I saw that um, there was a lot of people kind of scratching their head and really thinking about the application of what we've done. So could they use containers? Could they do high density? Could they get free cooling year round where they are? Uh, could they standardize their SKUs? Could they come up with ways to build a supply chain that allows them to optimize, optimize that pipe? And um, the, the input from all the different folks that you probably heard in this session is uh, that it's been very collaborative and very helpful for them. And I think that this is exactly what Data Center Pulse was all about. It was to bring people together to provide an environment that they could share information. And at the same time, we start to influence the industry. If you look at Dell and HP and the other partners in this project, they both took our problems and um, our requirements and they came up with answers that they could um, give back to us as a value added uh, proposition. And we've now employed those inside of our data center. So I'm very proud that we've been able to get the efficiencies we have. I'm also very proud that we could bring this back to the industry and share it with my peers because we believe there'll be new services and new products and new thinking that comes out of all of this. So one of the key takeaways is the innovation that eBay is doing, but doing with um, existing products that are out there. So you're not necessarily having to go out and build your own servers, you know, take something apart and put it back together. You're looking to just optimize existing equipment, which is key because then the rest of the industry can actually adopt this without having to necessarily do a lot of reconfiguration or spend a lot of money to do that. One of my key takeaways of coming to the events is not everybody is in the same place. Um, you have folks who are suppliers of a very small piece of it. You have you know, Dean and Mike and Jeremy here looking at the large piece. You've got somebody like me that spans it. And really, it is a collection of them. And so you really kind of, as a product guy, it really helps me look at not everything is just this one motorcycle battery, adiabatically cooled container. There's a lot of people who just want to go add 500 watts or, or, or uh, 500 kilowatts of capacity just when they need it. And so it's really bring, it's bringing together this diverse nature of folks that I really think Data Center Pulse excels at. The way you guys went about this, eBay created this RFP process, decided to go and just throw away the old way of doing things and open it up. You know, put what you want, make them give you what you want, mm -hmm. and I, I think that's a great idea, a good concept. We ought to do it all the time. Customers are hyper interested in hyper efficiency, um, and it's no longer a Web 2.0 thing. It's no longer an e-commerce thing. It, it, it's trickling its way down uh, into the economics of regular businesses. You had hosters here. You had banks here, you had Web 2.0s here, you, had, you just had people here from all sorts of different backgrounds and I thought that um, the questions they were asking were well informed mm -hmm. um, and um, weren't met with the same skepticism that you meet in the, uh, in the uh, larger industry. I, I really enjoyed it, the fact that it's a growing trend uh, that I think is very important for the industry and the change that is needed from a strictly a sustainability and efficiency side of things. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the fact that you can take real life examples of what's going on and, and potentially implement it in your own 
uh, way and, and whatever you need. Yeah. Um, I like the fact that it's fully disclosed of what is going on. And um, I think what I'm seeing the most is that people care. And uh, that, that is by far what's going on in the industry, in my opinion, by opening your doors, whether it's you know, eBay's, whether it's you know, Facebook doing their thing and Google doing the thing. But I mean, the most I, I like the fact that is that we're sharing. And uh, that's what I'm seeing the most. And that's what I appreciated the most about this experience. For the breakout sessions, it was nice to be able to get the product overview and have the technical people here to answer the questions as well. So we could ask all the different things we wanted to of you know the different versions they might have in some cases that they presented and then any questions we had on what type of products they might support did it support specifically HP or Dell servers or could we you know put other things in there sure and what were some of the specific technical specifications in terms of temperature ratings and what it actually operated at so it was a lot of good information I find it very useful people is open and uh, we talk about things so that uh, we get to understand how uh, your project Mercury is working and I, I, I learned something from it. How can I apply it in my other projects? My key takeaway has been what I've been seeing the past year, whether it's at Uptime Symposium, Data Center Pulse, it's the, it's the collaborative effort was what's going on. I think that Data Center at one point was such a secretive kind of a, you know, project or industry, whether it was a, you know, a colo provider or, or what you were doing within a company, but I think that we're opening the doors now and we're seeing what other people are doing. And of course, that's going to go back and we can take that back and say, okay, here's what would apply to what we're doing in our company and what would not apply. And I think that being able to implement something from what was already done in real life, you're not having to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. And I like that, that what it's ha really happening is it's, it's pushing for more innovation. That's what I'm taking from, uh, from this experience. And uh, just eBay welcoming you know, competitors, uh, people from the industry into their data centers so to, to look at up close of what's going on, what they did from a you know, implementation standpoint, financial standpoint, I, and I think that's very important. It, it's something that this industry needs. I mean, uh, it's exponentially speeding up in, innovation. Everyone's trying to become more efficient. Uh, I had several questions after the sessions around really the PUE was that. Uh, I don't believe it. How did you met? A lot of questions about how did we measure the PUEs? Are they were, the, was that, were they really what the numbers we that we published mm -hmm. are? So I think uh, I think the important thing is really the proliferation of the information of what sure. the, our implementations were, uh, and I think that uh, there's going to be more interest around how to um, build out these data centers of the future. Right? I think. Uh, you know, a project like this is great because it it shows the differences between a standard brick and mortar mm -hmm. uh, and a modular data center type of approach. And it isn't that maybe one is going to su supplant the other one. Mm -hmm. It's that they'll probably coexist and the value propositions of each will mature. Data Center Pulse uh, influence on the industry is is driving a, a a mindset on how to drive not only innovation but but efficiency and a collaboration to drive that from a community standpoint. Quite simply, it's a, it's a think tank of sorts of end users without the influence of vendors. So you can get um, great advice from your peers on you know, ultra detailed tactical questions to ultra high level strategic questions and anywhere in between very quickly. You can tell there's a lot of energized individuals in the, in the community, in the forums. Um, you can throw a quick question out there, get some really good quick answers back, and it's never with that marketing spin of somebody trying to sell you something. So it's, it's, a, it's useful, so you use it. I remember watching a Data Center Pulse video of Dr. Evil's Data Center in the White Mountain, and it, I think maybe that was the thing that went viral. And you know, there was Silicon Valley Leadership Group, and again, all the standard ones, uh, the ASHRAE, the Green Grid, I really think the difference here is this feels like more of what probably uptime started as a bunch of guys getting together who are actually trying to solve the problems and people bring to them to the meeting what they feel comfortable sharing mm -hmm. and it really is a consortium of ideas. I want to say thank you very much to uh, the Data Center Pulse members that actually took their time and traveled here to Scottsdale, Arizona to participate in this event. Um, having a closed door session that allows us to have a safe haven to be able to share information and collaborate and also debate about the application of the concepts that we have has been extremely valuable, I think, all the people that were involved. 
And I know that they spent a lot of time now away from work and also from their families, and I, I really appreciate that they did that. I think that the relationships that are built inside of Data Center Pulse are one of the big value components that uh, allow us to collaborate, come together, and start to influence the industry. So once again, thanks Data Center Pulse members, and for everyone who wasn't able to attend this one, we hope to see you at the next one.